perfect. So click on the green one, create, and we're gonna just go straight from right here, we're gonna click on conversions. Okay, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna just name each tab right now. There's three tabs and each one, there's a title for each one. So we're gonna just name those right now. So hit the drop down at the bottom, the drop down for name your campaign, scroll okay. down and we'll see all three. So we're gonna just give them the names right now. So this one's gonna be whatever the name of the video. And that's what you wanna do is just get in the habit of naming your videos. So not should just, I call it guide lead, hum, Leads Hummer? Yeah, that'd be good. Leads Hummer. Seller Leads Hummer. Yeah. So I can, uh, let me say Seller Guide. Seller Guide. Yep. Se seller Guide. Ah, I can't even type anymore. And then, okay. and then in parentheses, in parentheses, um, you'll put conversions because that's the one we're going with the objective conversions. So in parentheses. So Put that because for the most part, that's what it's going to be. That's always what it's pretty. always going to be. Yeah, it's always going to be conversions. Um, okay. And then the ad set, go ahead and um, and and put in the city or the town that you're targeting, which was Austin and what was it, 25? Yeah. Well, Austin plus 25 miles. Okay, Could perfect. Yeah. And then the, the ad... I normally just name that the same as the top. So seller guide leads Hummer, just do the same thing. Just copy, yeah, or you can just type it. Okay, perfect. So now that's gonna bring us into the setup of the first tab. So you can see up there in the top left, you got seller guide leads Hummer, Austin plus 25, seller guide leads Hummer. So those are our three tabs to the, to the top left. Those okay. are the levels we're on, right? We're on level one. So here you'll always hit the drop down and go with housing. Oh yeah. Okay, you know what? Here's another thing. Um, you may not have declared. So it says right here, you're required to declare if your ads are related to credit. So click on learn more. You may not have declared it, but I but I, I'm pretty sure you have. That's why I mean I don't think I don't think we would have been able to run the first ad. But click on learn more because normally you see an on and off button right there. Yeah, I know when I used to and, do and it, I used to see that. Right. So, so to the very, very right, let's scroll down to the very, very right, the help scroll down, see if there's anything you need to check on or click on. So um, scroll down. Is there anything below the yes or no? No, I don't think so. Okay. So there's nothing to comply with. Okay. So then, so then you should be good. So that's it. So let's X out of the help the top, yes, right? X out, just X out, minimize that. Yeah, get, get rid of that X. Okay, so we're good. We should be good. Okay, so scroll down. Um, housing, we're going with housing. Campaign budget optimization, it's off. So leave that off. Just hit next. That's it. That's step one. The campaign, the objective is conversions. That's it. You choose housing. That's it. Next. Now we're in the second step. So over here, we'll choose um, the pixel. So go ahead and hit that drop down and, and, and select a pixel. All right, now we, so we got to select this one, I think. Okay, this so, on. yeah, so go ahead and choose that one. And so go ahead and conversion event. It's there it is yeah. there. There it is there. There it is uh, there. Click on work. it. Okay, Let's we're good. That, Click on it. That darn, uh, okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Scroll down. Scroll down. Why does it okay. say it hasn't been set up? In any of my it, it has. Just ignore that part. It, everything's set up. Everything's set up. We we're, right. we're now we would have choose it, so we're good. So I don't want dollars a day. So go go lifetime budget. Hit the drop down daily. Go lifetime budget. Yeah, that's better. And then, um, but it, it becomes the same dollar amount, so it doesn't matter whatever you're spending. Yeah. Lifetime daily, it's 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 the same dollar amount. We're just, it's just we're just telling Facebook, you know, spend it over the course of these many days versus spending it per day. So okay. Lifetime. I want to say fifty dollars for the week. You can is, go fifty bucks for a seven day period is less than ten dollars a day, which okay. is which is probably not going to do much for you. No. So ten dollars per day is is kind of minimum. So if oh. you're going seven days, there's seventy bucks, ten dollars per day. So the way you want to kind of look at it is is for sure minimum ten bucks a day. Because okay. you gotta think about you're in real estate. So where in the hell can we buy a lead for less than ten dollars a lead? 
you can't buy le- that cheap of a lead anywhere. I'm ending it, David. I just I I only want to do this one for a week because yeah. I you know it's it's like past due. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I'm tired already. So, but I want to run something until yeah. I get one going. Go 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 seventy and go seven days. So let's change the start date and the end date. Go seven days and start it for the next day. You always want to start that ad the next day. So March six. Six. March 6th. And then, um, yeah, go March 6th and then change that time to 6 a.m. So, and it's going to be start 6 a.m. and 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. So go in and choose, um, change that. So 6 a.m. And then just go ahead and move the end date. Perfect. So now. Oh, darn it. Six. No. Perfect. Okay. And then the end, just go ahead and um, go seven days out. So from the fifth, actually, yeah, go back to March. So um, you're going to go from the sixth to the thirteenth. Eleventh, right? Is seven days. Well, six to the thirteenth. To the thirteenth. Oh, that's right. Because okay. I'm. Okay. And then change that to six a.m. It should actually be the twelfth, the six days, but it depends on how they count it. Well, yeah, you want to go ahead and change that to 6 a.m. And then and then move that that March 5th, change that back to 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 March 6th. Okay. I think it's good. Okay. So now scroll down. So we don't need any of the custom audiences. Locations, change that to Austin. Right here? Yep. United States, change that to Austin. Click edit. Everything's about hovering over it and seeing that edit. That's what everything is about. Just hover over it and you'll see edit. So I think just, what was we put my address and then we put 25 miles. Yeah. So go people living in this location, people living in this location, and then um, and then click out, get it out of there, click away, click, and then, okay, so now change out the United States, click and X out of the United States up, go back to the United States up. So X out of that to and the I'm right. Gonna... Yep. Yes. X out and type in whatever location. Okay. Where do I put it? Search right. locations yeah. down. Search locations. Okay. Thanks. So you type it in right there. Okay. We're not we're not changing age. We're not changing gender. We're not putting in a detailed targeting. If anything, in the in the languages, change that. Edit. Hover over languages. Edit and go English, type in English. So right there, English, and you're going you're going with English all. So just hit the drop down. always hit the drop down. You don't need to type it in, just type in enough to see the drop down and then, and then choose that and then scroll down. You're leaving an automatic placement. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, keep going, keep going, you're done. Hit next, that's the ad set. That's the second step. That's all it takes is that's it. I'm so happy so it worked this time. You chose your budget, you chose your targeting, you chose the pixel. Um, you chose the custom conversion. Um, okay, so X out of this, some items not published. X out of that little error in the bottom. So your ad won't run on Instagram because it's selected. That's fine. Okay, good. So we're good there. Okay, so now we're on the third and final step. Um, your Facebook page is there. Go ahead and click on ad setup right there. It says create ad. Hit that drop down. And then and go with set up created. Yeah, Hit right this- there go use existing post. And all you're gonna do is just find that post. So scroll down and you'll hit select post right there. Okay, cool. And then over here, all we're looking for is that video. So um, if you don't see it here, then I'll show you where to find it, but you should see it in the drop down here. Let me try to go slower. should be coming up although it was a while ago okay and sometimes you may not see it you're already in august 2017 yeah so if you don't see it and i'm glad we're not seeing it that way i can teach you how to find it if you don't see it so go to your facebook business page and let's just go to that video and all we'll do is we'll um to find it fast we'll just click on videos and, and we'll find it fast rather than having to scroll through all your previous posts. 
So let's just go to, um, yeah, go to the business page. And then right here at the top, you're going to click on more and you're going to click on videos. So go ahead and go, go there. So when this loads, we'll see more. And it should be right here at the top. Um, so right here, click on more. And then you're going to click on videos. So right there, the drop down more and then click on videos. So over here, you'll see that video and you'll click on it. So just going to scroll down. I have to make sure it's the right one because this one I don't think is right. If the if the little book doesn't come up, it's not the right one. Okay, well, maybe delete this, whatever one's not the right one. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Let's see. Okay, so go ahead and click on it. I don't think that's it. Hi folks, Christine DeSimone here, your Austin Boutique Realtor. I'm on today to give you a update on the status of real, real estate okay, in the Boston area. Right it's okay. such a beautiful So no pause it. Okay. Pause it. Um, now. Okay. So here's what you do when you don't see it in the drop down. Those numbers at the very top, it's either one of those. So those set of numbers in the in the in the URL bar at the top. Yeah, right here. Copy. Co let's try one at a time. So the one one six zero four. Copy that. Okay. It's copy the right that whole one. block of numbers. No, 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 no. Just the numbers. Just the numbers. Okay. Just the numbers. So let's do okay. one set. There's two blocks of numbers there. So we're gonna do just do one block at a time. So, no. This get out of there. Get out. We're just okay. gonna copy just the one one six zero four one zero. You got two blocks of numbers. No, Christine. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so just... click it again. And I want you to know we refresh are the in... page. Refresh the page. Or you're gonna have to we you're have... gonna have to do it again. Okay, click so the... right here you have that one block of numbers. Just copy right. the numbers. Just the numbers. Okay. Well, so... there were two blocks in the last one? Yeah, there was two. Oh, there was two sets of numbers. So that's one set. So let's see if it's those ones. Let's go to the let's go to the back to the ad. Ads manager. Let's see if those are the actual numbers. And if it's not, then it's the other ones. And sometimes it just gives us the, the updated number anyways, and we'll be able to choose that. Get rid of here. Close this one out. This is not where we're at. Close this out so I'm not confused. X out this tab. Nope, to the top, the tab. X out of the okay. tab. And go to the other one, left. Manager. Yeah, okay. so we might be right here. Okay, so now cancel this. Let's cancel out of here because we couldn't find it here. So let's cancel this. And all we're going to do is we're going to enter post ID. So let's see if this is the actual number right there. Enter post ID. Click on the blue one. Enter post ID below the red triangle. Oh, okay. So paste it in right there. Let's see if these are the numbers. So hit submit. Okay. So now it's those numbers. So it's saying, did you mean 101610? So yeah, copy that. Oh, yeah, good. And then um, let's copy that and go ahead and paste that and delete those other ones and just paste in those ones. And that's how you find it if you don't see it in the drop down. So click submit. That's much better. And then it should pull up over here to the right. And there goes your ad. So um, scroll down. Let's let's look, go down, go down. Let's, um, okay, so your domain needs to be associated with a pixel, which it is. Um, and then, yeah, so your, your pixel is already associated with the, with the pixel. So you're just getting that error just to get it, but we should mm -hmm. be fine. So um, all domains need to be associated with a pixel event um, pair, which, which we did that. That's why we saw, we connected it to the business settings. Go ahead and click on setup just to see, see where it takes us, but we, we've already done that. Go ahead and click on setup. Where is no, setup? No, below the message here in yellow. So setup. Yeah, okay. click on that. So we just, we already, we already did all of this. So Facebook ad app. So scroll, scroll. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is this. Yeah. We don't even, we don't even need this part. So we're good. So go back to the ad and just click on publish. Yeah. See, so our custom conversion was set our pixel was set. So go ahead and go ahead and click on. So we're good here. Click on the mid to the left, Austin plus 25 miles. Click on that second step to the left right there. So let's just double check this right here. And so there's our pixel. So that's our pixel. That's our custom conversion. 
So mm -hmm. everything is good. So now X out of this little window here to the top left, hit the X. No, 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 not the tab, not the tab, Christine, not the tab. I don't Just know. The window. The tab. So what do you want the me to tab go back? Is, is one thing and then the window was another. There was two different X's. Just go to the business settings, the tab, click on the tab. Oh. And then, and then just from here, um, click on the dots and go to ads manager. So everything should be fine. Click on ads manager. Okay, perfect. So we're, we're good there. Check the box, not the blue circle. Check the box next to the blue circle. Okay. This one on check the, the box. Yes, yeah. check the box. Okay, so the middle tab, click on the middle tab, add sets for one campaign. This should be scheduled. Okay, click on the third tab, ads for one campaign. This should be in review. Okay, so now right below, right where your cursor's at, right below those three bars, hit that drop down. Right below, right there, hit that drop down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna customize the columns. So let's customize columns right there. Click on customize columns right below the word save. Yep, customize columns. And over here, we're gonna, we're gonna structure these. Right here you see, let me just show you real quick. X out of this real quick, hit cancel. Okay, what I'm gonna show you to do is these columns. You have ad name, delivery, ad set name, bid strategy, budget, last significant edit. Those are your columns. Those are all the different metrics. There's a lot of those metrics that we don't even need, that we don't even care about. So I'm gonna have you customize them. So you only see what you need, which is, okay. which is just a few. So go ahead and go back, hit the three bars, hit the drop down, and then let's go down to customize columns. And we're gonna delete a lot of these columns, a lot of these metrics that we don't really care. So okay. our um, attribution setting, X that out to the right. Attribution setting, X that out. Results, X out. Um, oh, I don't results. I like to see results. We're, we're gonna we have our own custom results. So X out. Quality ranking, X out. Cost per result, X out. We have our own custom conversion. So we're gonna base it off of that result. Um, engagement rate ranking, X out. Conversion rate ranking, X out. Um, I guess you could last significant edit, X that one out. Um, let's see, scroll down in those three second. I mean, I guess you can, you can leave it link clicks. You can leave that. So what we want to do now is to the very, very left, you see custom conversions, click on that. It's all about our custom conversions. So you're going to right there, there is your seller guide leads. So yeah. check the box for total, total, and then check the box for cost to the right. Check the box. Check the box for total. Yeah, it went away. Okay, do it again. Okay, so to the right, you'll see it here now at the very bottom, to the right. Scroll down. Now let's let's there's our cost per seller guide leads and there's our seller guide leads. So click and drag it to the top. Click what? The words cost per seller guide leads and seller guide leads. Click it and drag it to the top of the list. Yeah. So just click, drag it to the top of the list. Okay. okay. Okay, perfect. So now to the bottom left, you see save as preset. Yes. Check click. that box and go to name it. This is seller guide campaign. So now as you come in here and look at your numbers, you'll, you'll hit the drop down. I'll show you where. So seller guide okay. campaign, and then just click the blue button, apply. Okay, so now when wow. you come in, we have a lot of junk. You hit the um, the drop down, three the three columns again. Hit that drop down. Whenever you come in here, you'll always want to be in that one. Seller guide campaign. Okay. The only view I care to see. All I care to see really is my seller guide leads. How many leads came in, and what was the okay. cost per lead? Okay. It's kind of all I care about. I mean, I can look at three second. I can look at the cost per click. I mean, we could look at that, but it's really, it's like bottom line. How many leads do I have and what did it freaking cost me? Yeah, exactly. Right? It's like, damn, that's all I care about. It's like shit, you know? Yeah. So keep it simple, yeah. you know? Much cleaner. 
So, so that's the view. And then, and then click on the first tab campaigns at the top campaigns. Yeah. Click on that. So over here, we'll see it right here. Seller guide leads cost per seller guide leads. Mm. Okay. Um, oh. So whenever I come into my dashboard, I should go to this mm -hmm. and, and click, make sure I'm clicked on seller guide leads yep. as my campaign. Yep. And then I will see, or whatever campaign I want to look at, because eventually we'll probably have more. Yes. Um, yeah. And then I'll be able to see what I'm paying and what I'm paying per lead. Yes. But see, from this I'm point on, every ad is going to be seller guide. You'll focus on that for a while. Like, I don't want you going to buyer guide anytime soon. Like, I want you to focus on seller guide leads and getting out this seller guide to people for at least the yeah. next few months, two to three months, yeah. you know? David, I don't even want that buyers right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just sellers, all about listings. Oh, yeah, um, Redfin trying to send me them and I, mm -hmm. I don't take them. <laughs> and then also another thing when you're in here, you'll always want to view it from lifetime. So right there in the top right, you see lifetime. So hit that drop down January 8th through March 5th, hit that drop down. So sometimes in here, when you come in here, it might show you just this week, or it might just show you the last seven days. I want lifetime. Okay. Because lifetime and will lifetime, show me all numbers. Lifetime needs anything to do with that campaign. Yes. Like, I don't want to look at the numbers just for the last three days or seven days or whatever. I want to look at from beginning of the campaign to the, to where we're at today. Okay. You know, so, so, um, when you look at it in lifetime, watch, take the little column, the little gray cursor down, 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 down. No, not that one. That one right down, down. That little bar, that gray oh, yeah, bar. Yeah. Move, it move it to the right. So right here, look, look. When I'm in lifetime view, it shows mm -hmm. me the green line. 97, 9746 of 9746. And so when that first one goes live, it shows zero of $70. Right. But when I'm in lifetime view, it'll show me how much money has been spent so far. It could be $13 of 70, mm -hmm. right? So it just gives me a different view of the numbers and, and lifetime is how I like to view everything. So right. lifetime now, and seems cost. Like for, this one seemed like it ran forever and it only cost me 9746. Why? Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that's a good, well, maybe because of the targeting, like let's check the box. So uncheck the box of the first one, check the box for the second one. Don't turn the second one on, just check the box and then click on the ad set the middle tab. And then let's just look at the targeting. So in this case, what did you target? Let's go to edit, click on the Austin and go to edit below. Yeah. Edit. Gosh, if I can get used to all the hovering and finding what I need, you will. So you went lifetime I, and you, well, you scroll down. So you spent a hundred and you, you ran it for a long time. So it went from the 24th to the 24th. So it was a month. Um, wow. and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, look at the actual, um, and see, yeah, it's the, it's the reach. It's the, the fact that you went only 15 miles around that address and there's only a, a actually the potential reached 760, 760,000 actually you went manual placements. You would have, yeah. And, and that I was I kept it at 15 miles. You no, know, you can keep it there, but what we could have went is we could have went automatic placement. So no more manual placement. And I advise you to do this the first time I remember this. This was the intro video. I wanted to, I wanted it to, to go just in the newsfeed. But from this point on, we're going automatic placement. So not we're not gonna we're not gonna uncheck anything. We're gonna let Facebook run it wherever the hell they want to run it. Okay. Within that 15 mile radius of Austin, of the address, you know. Yeah, but we have 25. Maybe we should change it to 15. Can we still do that? No, this one's off. This is this is old. No, this I need the new one. The other one? Yeah. Yeah. You can change the other one, but, but you got to do it now when that yeah. app goes live, you don't want to change anything. So X out of this, not the tab X out of the window right here. Right Hit here? the X right there. Yeah. Not the tab. So uncheck the box. Check and this then, one. Yep. And then go back to the first tab of the campaigns. Click on the campaigns. Oh, nope. The tab. Yep. Click on that one and then uncheck this box and then just check the top box. You see, then, I unchecked the box on the last thing. Was that okay? Yeah, you're fine. So click on the middle tab, add sets, and then just um, edit and go to the um, the targeting. And you'll want to do this before that ad goes live. Okay. Once the ad is live, don't mess with nothing. Okay, I'm glad okay. we. So I scroll it down. 
Can I change it right there now? Well, yeah, that's just the title. So yeah, go ahead and change the title for sure. Okay. Change that 25 to 15 so you know what the hell is going on. I think this is good. Yeah, because I don't really want to drive 25 miles Yeah, exactly. Away from so scroll down and then just change out that radius. What's that? I'm looking for right it. Right here, right there. You just, right there, right there. So oh. go to edit. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, scroll down. And then, um, okay, perfect. So you're good. Okay, so let's just, and all it is is typing it in. You can move that little circle, but that's, yeah, okay. Or you could, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then click publish. Publish, and that's it. Don't do that when that ad is live. That's why you have to know what the hell you want to do before you go live. Because once you go live, there's no more changing anything. But now that I figured out why it was, uh, you know, I don't want to reach people in San Marcos, Texas. Yeah, for or, sure. Yeah, uh, Gerald, hit, Texas, because I don't want to be running all over the state. Okay, so hit the X in the top left. Just X out this window. Right here? Yeah. And then, and then we're back to the dashboard. So uncheck the one selected in the middle, the ad set. One selected, uncheck that. No, that's the campaign, the middle, the ad set, the second tab. Yeah. And then, and then to the left, click on the campaigns tab. So we're good there. Um, we're back click to the it. dashboard. Yep. Click on that. And then X out the one selected. So now this ad will be in review for the next few hours. It's scheduled to go live tomorrow, but you'll get a, you'll get a, an email tonight from Facebook. Mm -hmm. It'll say your ad is scheduled or running. And okay. that's when you know it's approved. So, so is there anything I should watch for to no, know that it's no, nothing, uh, nothing at all. Um, if anything, no, no here's uh, what we want to do. Actually, you know, you know what? Yes. What we want to do is we want to set up a call with me. Today's Friday, set up a call. We need to, it goes live Saturday. It goes live Sunday. It goes live. It goes live. Um, it goes live Monday. Let's talk Tuesday morning. I have a set, a call set up on Monday. Should I switch it? Yeah, switch it. We want to look at it on um, on Tuesday morning. In fact, I'll okay. just reschedule for Tuesday morning. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, we'll talk then and review the numbers. So yeah, three days, three full days in. Okay. And then we look at the numbers and analyze from there. Okay. We're not going to let it go the whole seven days. If I mean, seven days, Facebook would actually tell you to go seven days. Facebook will tell you to actually run it 10 days. But yeah. um, coaches that I learned from, mentors that I have, three days is enough to, to determine if that ad should stay on or not. Really? Okay. Yeah. So and like this weekend, um, at least before Tuesday, I'm going to work on another ad. Yes. I'm, I'm yes. Yes. Yeah in but i'll be working on another perfect. ad and i make it a spring looking one perfect so sounds good yeah. we'll look at that one on tuesday and go from there sounds good thank All right, you Christine. So you're so so okay. welcome there's some things that i forgot what i needed to do but hopefully i'll remember on some of my emails and my pages we worked no, on we'll, something like i'm gonna be here so let's keep going back and forth don't i mean schedule the call whenever the hell you need me okay thank you david okay christine have a great weekend Thank you. I will now. Okay. <laughs> you bye bye.